What's up everybody? It's just Mike here playing another episode of Mike vs. House. In the last episode, we had a very successful three games followed by a terribly, uh, terrible last game. But, in this episode, we are gonna go back into the Battle Maison using the same three Pokemon- whoopsie, not single battle. We're gonna be using the same three Pokemon that we used in the last uh, episode because I feel like we can really do some good with it. Okay, so let's go for the Battle Box. Let's go for Superhero, let's go for Doom Womb, and let's go for Gengar. The reason that Gengar is not nicknamed is it because it's from X, and I didn't nickname it an X, and I ran out of time. Anyway, so let's go ahead and save the game. I don't like to hack a lot of my Pokemon. I was just thinking that it can be very easily construed that I hacked the Gengar, and uh, I don't think I did for that one. Uh, there are some Pokemon that, like, my friends hacked and they sent them over to me, but I don't like to hack too many Pokemon. I did for a certain series. You would probably understand if you thought about what series would require a little bit of hacking, but... Either way, uh, we're gonna go into May Joel sending out the Yan Mega. Um, okay, so here is a situation. I talked about last episode, situations where, um, Gallade would have a problem. Uh, this is one of them, actually. Uh, bug flying. Okay, so let's go, or not, is it bug flying? Yeah, I think it's bug flying. Uh, let's just go for the psycho cut, I guess? I mean, uh, yeah, we can, we can just kind of hope for a crit. Uh, plus the mega, mega, uh, attack boost damage, attack damage boost will, uh, help out a lot. But it's gonna go for the detect, I should have seen that coming and gone for a sword stance, but either way, uh, unfortunately that's not gonna happen in psycho cut is going to be able to nearly take it out. Okay. Uh, Air Slash, thankfully, is special, so it's not going to completely take me out, but is going to bring me down to 24 HP, which isn't cool. But, again, that's just kind of how it happens. Either way, Shadow Sync's going to be able to take it out. And uh, Rose Raid's going to come out. Rose Raid is... Uh, I want to say it's actually Grass Poison. Is it Grass Poison? I'm going to go for Psycho Cut. Because I'm definitely going to outspeed it, because Gallade is like 110 or something when it Mega Evolves. Yes, it is super effective. So, Rose Raid is Grass and Poison, so that's perfect. Uh, the Dugong is going to come out, and I think uh, at this point I'm just going to go for that Close Combat. Because Close Combat should be able to do a lot of damage. Yes, it's going to be able to take it out, because it is super effective. <sighs> See, I mean, that's so nice, being able to use Close Combat on the last Pokemon in their party. Right? Because, you know, I hate the, the defense drop. If I had used um, Close Combat before the end Mega came out, and then it used um, Air Slash on me, that would have been a dead Gallade. But either way, so that's Battle 1 down. Gonna go into Battle 2 with this old man. Your name will be- or your opponent will be me. The Pokemon- or the Pokemon Fan Club's greatest battler. So, they all had a meeting and they were like, hey, let's send, uh, Alekia. We're gonna send Alekia over to the battle uh, battle maison. Alekia, post in the comments if your name's Alekia because I want to meet you. Cause that that's fantastic. I will spend however much money as I need to. I don't want to make that bold of a claim because I probably wouldn't. But still, let's go for the Mega Evolution and uh, I could go for a Swords Dance. Do I want to? Not really, but I think I will anyway. Hmm. See, that, that, this is kind of a precarious situation, because I don't think that he has any super effective moves. I definitely don't think he has any super effective moves on me, but... Um, Wall Rain's just kind of a... Okay, he stockpiled. Perfect. Everything's great. So you know what? I don't think I even need to go for the close combat. Uh, normally, I think that I probably would, but because I got that Swords Dance off, and he only has plus one defense, I can just go for a Psycho Cut. That should do a lot of damage, that's good. Uh, and he's going for another stockpile. Oh, wow. See, I mean, maybe he'll go for a swallow, and that will help him, but he's gone. So, good. <laughs> Bear Tick's gonna come out, and I still don't think that I need to use um, Close Combat on him, so I'm just gonna keep on going for Psycho Cuts. Because I have the Swords Dance up. See, I mean, they're, yes, they're, their biggest problem was letting me set up all over them. So, I mean, the Rhyperior's gonna come out, and at this point, I should go for the close combat. But, uh, even that, alright, you're gonna go for a Protect. Even then, I don't know if that will kill. 
It, it should. It should. Right? It's stab and it's close combat and it's plus two. Yeah, okay. There we go. It's gone. For sure, for sure. That's like, what? Okay, so we got stab. That brings it to 180. And then we've got plus two. So that brings it to uh, 360. That's 360 power. That's amazing. Like, I don't care how much... I, I want to, like... You know what I want to do? I want to learn how to calculate all of that in my head. You know? Like, if you if you have all the, the stats of the Pokemon. Either way. So that was Battle 2. Let's move right on to Battle 3. It's this little girl. If there are still dreams in your heart, then I'm still a fairy tale girl. Okay. Okay. <laughs> fairy tale girl Aurora. Fairy tale girl Aurora send out Carbink. Okay, um... I, hmm. <sighs> Precarious situation, because it came out first. It came out first and it does have moves that can do a lot of damage. It doesn't have moves that can uh, one hit me. I don't know. I don't think that a Carbink can one hit a Gallade, especially because a lot of Carbink's moves are special. Mega Gallade is very specially defensive. I made this pro I made this mistake with Alakazam, but this is not an Alakazam. This is a freaking Carbink, so let's go for a Swords Dance. I really hope that this is not a mistake, but we'll have to see. So I'm gonna go for the sword dance. Of course, it's not going to outspeed me because I am Gallade. I am the superhero. It's gonna go for the reflect, so that actually makes all of my stuff neutral. Uh, I wonder if it's gonna go for the light screen too. Because what I've seen actually on the battle spot is a lot of uh, dual screen users. So I just went for another. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So it's going for a. Uh, safeguard. Alright, so effectively right now I'm at plus two. Alright, so let's go for a Psycho Cut. Um, because why not, right? It'll do a good amount of damage. It's going for the Dazzling Gleam. That shouldn't take me out. Of course not. It's going to take out a third of my HP. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. It's, it only took out like 50. Uh, okay, so Carving's going down. I wasted a couple of turns on the Reflect. Um, and now it's just going to send out Braviary. I... Hmm. I could start going for close combats, um, because that is neutral on it, just like Psycho Cut would be. Uh, except I will lose that um, defense. But you know what? Let's do it anyway. Let's do it anyway. Let's try and take it out. Please. Yes. Okay. Good. We are good. Okay. Unfortunately, I lost the defense and special defense, but the Braviary did go down. And Porygon 2 should be able to go down from another close combat. So, I think we'll be fine. We will be fine. Close combat, take it out. Magic coat, doesn't matter, because I didn't use a thing. So, that's great. Is it gonna take it out or is it a violet? It doesn't matter, it's gone. Alrighty, so Porygon 2 is down and that's battle three done. Okay, all right. So, I mean, at least we're, at least I, I, I don't know. You probably have more of this figured out than I do, but at least I am getting to the point where I'm thinking about when to Swords Dance with Mega Gallade and when to do other things with Mega Gallade. You know, anyway. Hey, hey, I'm a rich boy. Bow to your patron. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> cool. You're challenged by Rich Boy Sion. Rich Boy Sion sent out Low Punny. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, I don't think. No, Low Punny definitely does not outspeed Mega Gallade. Um, so let's go for a Swords Dance. Going for a Swords Dance. And I don't think that it'll actually be able to take me out. It might, though, now that I think about it. Now that I've already... No, it's just Fake Out. Um, okay. I probably shouldn't have... Oh, wait, no, no, it doesn't matter. Right, because, um, I have Inner Focus. Yay! It ha... <laughs> it's Guts. That's cool. Um, either way, it outsped... No, wait, it doesn't outsped... I didn't know that. It did not outspeed uh, because I did not Mega Evolve at that point. But either way, I have my Swords Dance up, so let's go for a Psycho Cut. Um, and wow! All right, the Low Punny does outspeed the Mega Gallade. Okay. That's interesting and terrible at the same time. I kind of want to switch out into my Gengar. You know what? That's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch into my Gengar because I don't think... Well, I mean, the reasonable thing for this computer to do is go for a stab move, right? Uh, yeah, okay, perfect. It went for Dizzy Punch. That would have been... That's a fighting type move, but still. 
Is it a fighting type move? I don't actually know if it's a fighting type move. Either way, um, it did not hit. So, Low Punny can't actually do anything. I have effectively just shut down this Low Punny. So, perfect. All right, so Battle 4 is going really well. Finally, we might break the 4 battle mark. All right, after the first day. It wasn't actually all that long. Okay, so Dredigan comes out. We've got Mold Breaker, meaning it can use Earthquake on my uh, Gengar now. But I do have the Dazzling Gleam. It does have the Berry, whatever Berry that is, that lowers the power of Fairy-type moves. But what is it? The Rosalie Berry. All right, like Rosalina, who is a fairy. Whoa, did you see that? doodle doo doodle doo doodle doo doodle Illuminati. Anyway, um, let's go for the Gengar speed falling. Fine. And Dazzling Gleam should be able to take it out. Yes, absolutely. So my Gengar speed just fell, actually. Uh, saying it out loud, having not seen what move it was, was actually good. Because, yeah. Reasons. Let's go for another Dazzling Gleam, because honestly, I think I still outspeed this Hariyama, because why wouldn't I outspeed a Hariyama as a Gengar with just minus one? Um, we're gonna, yeah, okay, well, Smackdown, that's not gonna do nearly as much, and Gengar is gonna be able to take out this Hariyama very, very easily, perfect, 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 so there's four battles down, oh, we've done it, we have done it, my Gengar's gonna lose some HP because of his life orb, hey, how, how dare you do such a thing to a rich boy like me, ha, <laughs> I beat him. Okay, so in this episode, we beat four trainers. That's that's awesome. We're actually going to move on to battle five in the next episode. I am so pumped. Perfect. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed, please do hit that like button right down there. It always does help out the, uh, help out the channel. You can always subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my stuff. And you can also tweet me at Still Just Mike if you want to challenge me for a battle. Alright, well until then you guys keep on doing your thing and I'll be still just Mike. See ya.